Before we get started today, I'd like to offer a quick introduction to the project. So first of all, in the very early 80s, my parents bought a couple acres in a neighborhood where they were building ferrous cement houses, and they started on their ferrous cement dome. And eventually what we wound up with was a ferrous cement dome with an earth retaining wall around it and on the side a, a wood framed uh, living quarters. But in the mid thousands, <laughs> we decided to uh, cut the top off the dome and go a different route with the project. So we built a flange and uh, to, to have a pony wall that would hold a roof. So with the hole in the roof, our underground house has become an earth sheltered house, but it still is kind of a unique earth sheltered house. So we have the dome with the exterior retaining wall and we'll be able to bury this structure all the way around. So it's going to be earth sheltered almost the entire circumference of the dome. But we needed to build some uh, pretty substantial retaining walls in order to uh, you know, terrace our, our relatively flat piece of property to the point that, that we could actually bury this sucker. And so that's what these retaining walls are. We, uh, I think part three of this video series, we did the lower wall and then did the upper wall, then the extension of the lower wall. So I know I haven't talked about ferrous cement in a long time, but my dad has a retirement date. So we're going to start working on the house again and I'll start posting videos again. So anyways, with the history out of the way, let's start with a little musical interlude, some work porn, and then at the end of the video, we'll just tackle something as simple as building and lifting these giant scissor trusses we build. So I'm working around with the straps here. We also got our catwalk, you know, pretty solid. But another thing that we're doing is we are grouting underneath these uh, these beams. Because in order to build this level, you know, we had to get some some pretty serious gaps going. <laughs> you know, so so each one of these these uh, frames is is uh, a different height but the top is level we're concerned about the overhang so we're adding another layer maybe going to do two layers of two by fours over all the windows uh well over the whole wall just to get the roof up high enough that we can see some skylight from the from the ground you know we want to be able to see the see through the windows not just look at the bottom of the roof we're looking for scissor trusses and different ways to build them it's seriously what we've done is we got on Pinterest and Google Image and uh, went to a friend's house and just looking at, at various types of uh, uh, 
scissor tresses built with uh, dimensional lumber. You know, because probably the prettiest ones are, are timber frame. So we're going to build this oval roof. And so basically we have a uh, half a round roof with a rectangular extension and another half of a round roof. And so our first scissor beams are going to be this uh, rectangular part. So we're just doing a quick test of uh, the oil that we're thinking about using. This is a natural color, so without much pigment, it really uh, sort of brings out the, the contrast in the different woods, even though they're the same species. So it turns out I don't have any good video of talking about the design. So I'll link this below if you want to look at it, but it's the Timber Frame Engineering Council uh, design of roof tresses. So let's just go right down to this first image. And these are all the, the you know, I guess common truss types. And so we built what's known as the scissor truss. And a very important critical part of the scissor truss is this king post. So, you know, just this a basic king post truss. This is super duper important and it has to be in your scissor truss because these are, as we'll see, scissor truss. The scissor truss is a structurally inefficient truss form that is very popular with architects and timber frame. Do not omit the king scissor ever. Uh, the scissor exhibits uh, the annoying habit of deflecting horizontally at the truss hills, causing the support posts or walls to spread. And so in order to have a, a nice sound rigid where it can have weight come down without sp the spreading of the sides, you have to have the king post. And, you know, so there, there's a ton of information in here telling you, you know, like, yeah, it's pretty, but it's not ideal. And so how did we combat that? So in, in the most basic of, of our design, we, we started with these two by sixes and we had a single continuous two by six on either side here, single continuous scissor truss, and then we have the king pin or the, what was it called again? The, the king truss. Don't omit the king, just the king. Let's go through these photos just a bit. Took a ton of photos. You know, we, we built it out where it was, you know, three two by sixes wide with the king right in the middle sandwiched in there. And then we, we did a hollow, you know, uh, I guess core on, on the, the scissor until eventually we, we just had it built out as if it was a, a timber. We, we have, you know, a, a continuous scissor right here. And then the continuous scissor on the other side is on the back of, of this king. And then uh, we spliced in more wood here. So we have lots of stuff acting in compression and, you know, trying to make it as strong as possible. But that doesn't mean that it, it can't deflect or wobble back and forth. And with these up in the air, you know, <laughs> you see how much uh, stability we had to, to get to it to keep them in place. We really had to build some sort of strong um, cross member to, to help make these rigid. And that's what we have right here. This coupled with some more uh, sort of half scissor frames coming up the sides gave us what we thought was a structurally sound, you know, <laughs> very strong structure. And it, it's, I mean, it's been up for years at this point. Uh, spoiler alert. We still haven't finished the house, though, because, you know, life got in the way. And then here in this photo, you can start to see where we're going with this. So we have, we have the scissor truss going across what I called earlier the rectangular part, and then we have the two half round roofs on either end of it. And, and so, you know, this, this member here is obviously a three-part truss doing the widest spans, and then we have, you know, these continuous here. And, uh, and then our kings, of course, super duper, super important. And then here you can see the final piece. So the, this is the, the heart and soul of our scissor truss roof. Uh, it has, has, you know, good compressive strength and it has very good like lateral strength. So it, uh, you know, that's why we thought the strapping around this little pony wall was so important just in case these wanted to sink a little and spread a little, because it's, it's a huge span that we covered. But then, we, you know, we also fill in with, with more beams, you know, all over. And, and I think as a unit, it's, it's incredibly strong. It doesn't, 
nothing move or give or anything. I'm going to let most of this play out uh, without narration, okay? But I just wanted to show here that, that we're trying to make, you know, solid one-piece beams. You know, you're laminating the boards together, lots of fasteners and bolts, and trying to keep everything under tension so it's as strong as possible. But the rest of this video will be without narration. So we got these two scissor trusses built and we're gonna try hoisting them up with our little lift up here maybe using scaffold we'll see how that goes but anyways we gotta let the oil dry and finish finish oiling this one uh-oh where'd our beams go oh that's right we're raising them up so on this side we have uh, a winch and on this side we got muscle. You know, did I ever tell you I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey? <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah. How, how did you yeah. overcome that? I said I turned myself around. Well, we did it. We got both our heavy trusses up here. It's kind of cool. It's a long way down. All right, we're going to see about standing up this uh, scissor truss. Ready? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Shoot up. I guess I could put a screw through this to hold it at this level.
anything intelligent to say about this project. It's looking awesome. That's all. That's all I know. So we're supposed to look down, right? Get this. We should probably maybe use one of these. It's a little bit longer. That's good enough. That's good, actually. No good enough about it. It's just kind of neat flying through this stuff. That's good. We've been making some pretty good progress on our roof. So this is the ferro cement dome that goes up to our concrete flange. Then we built the pony wall. And now we're putting this uh, wood framed roof on top of the pony wall. 